Wow. Yeah. That's a little awkward. Yeah. For who? Well, what? I just, what? I watch StarCraft 2, man. I talk with the pros. I say, hey, pros, give me that insight. Because I'm terrible. I'm not going to be like JP and pretend that playing is going to make me but better But it's casting. fun. It's, StarCraft 2 no, is fun. No, it is. Fun. Like, to play custom games with friends. Like, that's what no, I do. No, to play ladder. No, I don't like laddering. Spirit. Just like I the don't like... The spirit is not within I you. I don't solo queue. It is for fighting games. Like, I will play fighting games all day long. On StarCraft 2. It's too stressful. I am a big sissy girl with a vagina. So, uh... That's what life's like for me. Ah, they switch sides. Crap. Okay, we're just taking the supply thing down. Let's do it. Um, right, up here in the top right corner, your orange Protoss player, the French-Canadian Superman. Uh, he looks kind of like Superman. Desro, he's a solid guy. Taking game two there, uh, over here in the top left corner, your purple Terran player, Liquid Tiello, one of the most inventive, creative minds in, uh, in all of StarCraft II. Yep, and hopefully the lag situations have been fixed. I mean, keep in mind, these guys are both in, in, in Europe, I think. Desro isn't. Where's Desro from? You said French-Canadian? Yeah, he's French-Canadian. So he's in Canada? Yeah. Or is he in France? He's in, well, he's in French-Canada. Or, or would it be can, it's, it's Canadian? Like Quebec, maybe. Right. If, if there is a Canadian who moved to France, what, what would they be called? Oh, man, that's weird, yeah. Would it be a French-Canadian still, or would it be a... a um, Canadian-French? Can because it's like African American, so I think it'd be Canadian French, which is weird. Am I lagging? No, there was just a little skip. I think it's all right. Mm -hmm. Oh wait, oh. now there's another skip, dude. Seriously, is that me? Get under control. Are you on all the lowest settings? Yeah, I mean, if we'll see if it happens again, all right. and then I'll I'll uh, I'll duck out, and you can solo cast. Yeah. Oh, that's gonna be fun. <laughs> I, I love that. <laughs> He didn't break my computer. Um, so dude, this, is, is, uh, this is game three. Yeah, they are tied three. one to one. Yeah, I got the thing. And... Oh look, see they're. Uh... See, look at Desro trying to keep you in here desperately. Thank you. Which is you, not. Desiree. It's never the servers. It's always you. Desro is my, my. He's he is. very close to my heart. He's a he very is. good. I saw the I saw the clipping though, so I'm on TLO's side on that one. Am I a ref? Am I a ref? Can I, I don't tell think them? you're no. a ref. I don't think either of us are refs. Hold on. It's like if they want me to leave, I'll, I'll freaking leave. No, like I'll do yeah. it. Um, well, it's just if, you, if the if the screen pops up, because he already complained yeah. about the spike, so we'll count that as one. Okay. All right. But I'd All miss right. you. Deep down in my guts. I, w I, I would. Uh... <laughs> Deep down in my guts. Deep down in my guts. I would miss you too. I would miss you too. Man, yeah. right next to where I have my eating hole. <laughs> Not sure how I feel about that. Yeah, well, too bad. Um, so whatever. Two racks open drop. here from TLO. I want Tech Labs on both, but he's got no gas, so that makes me sad because no he's expanding. Yeah. I just want. I always want Mass Reaper. So, I mean, that's just that's what my life's like right now. I want Mass Reaper. I want Mass Reaper and Two Port Banshee. That's all I care to see <laughs> anymore because those are the coolest things. Which is gonna piss people off, but I don't care. They got fat faces. So. TLO got a second base up and running. No expansion yet, and both gases up out of Desro. Yeah, and that's really interesting. Both those gases, but not saturating one of them. Oh, yeah. So, I don't know. I don't know what, what's up with that. Maybe if TLO decides to venture into his base, he'll saturate him. But as I say that, putting one guy in, putting another guy in, and keeping it at two. So it's going to be a three-gate expand type play, it looks like, unless he decides to add on some sort of Twilight Council or Stargate. But I don't expect that to happen again. Um, yeah, three gate makes know, a lot of I, sense here because you got—I mean—you yeah. got the wide ramp, so you can apply the pressure. It's the same as sort of why you four gate PVP. You lay that three gate pressure down. You know he's not going to have a whole lot going on. That probe getting way out of sorts right there. He's gonna yeah, okay. Off. But uh, he does have the forward pylon up here by the uh, by the watchtower. So yeah, he does. And you're not on my vision, are you? No, no. I, okay. I gave All you a right. break. Yeah, it's going up to five gate off one base. Oh, okay. I've seen this so, build. Yeah. This is actually a really cool build. Um, yeah, by cool, I mean it's like a cheesy all in. It's totally not for me. The, the first time I oh, saw yeah, well, it was... Of course, it's, I mean, five gate, one base is going to be all in. Yeah, absolutely. But what makes it more selling is if you have a pro at your natural expansion, like at least bring down a pylon so it makes it look like you're expanding, and then don't let them scout your base. But TLO looks like he's going to scout his base and oh, see yeah. everything that's going on. So this should be foiled because the proper response to this is like five bunkers. 
Oh, yeah, um, he's immediately coming off the line there. Yeah, yeah he, because, like, if you hold this sort of uh, all-in type play, you will win. Um, because, of course, Desro is investing everything into this. Um, so I wouldn't be surprised to see TLO build a lot of bunkers. There's one, two, three, four. I said five. Um, but uh, we'll see. Yeah, well, you know, TLO is a, is a scrubby nub compared to you. Axel, I feel like that's what you were driving right. at. Oh, there he's got the fifth one. There we go. Yes. Uh, he's good. Lie. He's on top of what it. What if he adds a six? Then I'm like completely wrong. Yeah, then you're way wrong. Gosh, dang or it. you were right, and we can pretend like TLO is not way, way smarter than you in every possible that's way. Ah, uh, he added a sixth. FML. Well, I said at least five. At Didn't least I? five, and now he's getting a supply depot just for good measure. Because you can hide an SCV in a supply depot and then burrow yeah. Well, and then TLO. Forever. The, the point of this is, you got to survive, right? Yeah. Um, and that's that's what Tilo is trying to do. Absolutely, he's, he's set up. Now he's got. A, I mean, he's spending a lot of money on bunkers, so he does need to get stuff out to actually go in these. I mean, those are pretty much fallback bunkers, from the looks of it. Uh, force fields coming down, not in the best spots, but only a single SCV repairing. So he's getting through these bunkers pretty nicely. Actually, ah. that Guardian Shield's doing a lot of work, and there is not a lot of army on the ground right now for TLO. This yeah. uh, this could go really poorly for him, and Desro could go out to a uh, two or a one win lead. Uh, uh, it's hard. It's hard to say right now. I mean, yeah, the force fields are starting to hold. And TLO still has two bunkers up with plenty of units inside. SCV's trying desperately to repair. Oh, he's down to tickle to cannons now. Actually, fight and yeah, the tickle cannons aren't going to do much too the tear and force of Bunkers, Marines, and Marauders, so I think TLO may be fine. I don't want to, oh my god, a lot of units being warped in, so I'm not going to make any calls just yet because I don't want to be called a fool, but what's interesting here, there's no factory down for TLO, even though he has plenty of gas, and like, what you want here is medevacs, but we'll see. We'll see if uh, these two Bunkers will be able to survive this this next push coming forward from Desro. Yeah, he's, he's so heavy on the sentries right now, so the force fields and guardian shield are going to be an integral part of keeping everything alive. He's now starting to head back towards Zealots, which I dig. Uh, he wants those bunkers gone first, but TLO's had time to build stuff up. Uh, but man, those bunkers are going down quick. Really nice force fields here out of Desro, keeping him off the repair. And uh, that will certainly put TLO on the ropes here. He does have a good chunk of Marines and Marauders still out. And again, sentries are just terrible, terrible units for attacking with. Uh, yes. The force fields are fantastic, but he's just not getting through things very quickly. The Zealot's finally getting over into position to start doing a little bit of damage, and it looks like he may at least, he's going to at least keep TLO off of this one base. I don't know if he's going to have the uh, the Gusto to get him in on the second one here, because uh, that's a pretty tight little gap. But, uh, man, TLO certainly on the ropes. He's starting to run out of money. He's got another bunker going up uh, just a little bit behind the first one. But, man, those Tickle Cannons are starting to look a little scary. He's got a lot of energy, so he can start focusing on attacking units now. Yeah, and Desro still hasn't expanded, so TLO is like, he's fine on one base, he has that command center, still able to drop double mules, make double SCV, so his economy is going to be fine. Um, and I think he's I think he's in a decent situation right now, but Desro going to come forward with all of these sentries and zealots, but it's a lot of marines and marauders, some of that bunker as well, trying to repair at the same time, he needs to kite a little bit with these marines and marauders, doesn't even need to actually, because his army is just so much more strong. Yeah, very beefy now, once those extra marauders get in there. The Zealots aren't quite as effective, quite as fast. Uh, and it was really nice of him actually having those SCVs on hold position because he couldn't get great positioning on that bunker straight out. He did lose yes. a lot of the SCVs in the attack, but it uh, really bought him a couple little extra seconds there just to, uh, you know, get some free shots in. But he's still got a lot of energy on that. It's going to take some great force fields, though. He's, uh, he's come off of Stalkers completely. Not uh, not trying to buy any expensive units, just bringing in the cheapest uh, the cheapest stuff he can buy, you know. Yeah, and here he goes, going forward again, force fielding to make it so that the bunker cannot be repaired and the Marines can't, you know, ex exit out the back to go into another bunker. But look at this, Tilo has so many Marines and Marauders there. Again, only sentries remain, and they're not too powerful on their own. So backing off again is Dejo. Still has a supply lead, 51 to 40, but TLO landing his command center at that top uh, expansion. There should be dropping mules there pretty soon. Uh, but Dejo is just going to keep going until he tries, until he breaks or until he loses. Yeah, and he really has to. I mean, as far in as he is on this, he, I mean, he's done enough damage, actually, that he could drop uh, an expansion right now and, and, and come out of it looking kind of okay. But now that TLO has taken the sort of top middle position here... It, it's going to be really hard for him to, to be effective there. And again, the sentries are great, but the force fields have been both a help and a hindrance to him. 
as they've uh, they've kept his zealots from being able to get close to the armies, and he's really focusing on those bunkers um, rather than just the SCV that was building it, and that allowed him to uh, actually made it so that he lost a couple extra centuries. Bringing in another century, he's got plenty of energy though. Um, I think he's maybe thinking mono battle style here, you know. Perhaps. The zealots are a giveaway. He's just going to go pure century. That's actually pretty scary. If you get up about, yeah. you know, 80 centuries, then you start looking a little bit scary. The SCV is going to come off uh. here, saying we've had enough, but uh, they don't actually quite get their nice force fields from Desro. Uh, going to start going to town on the reactor there. It needs to keep his range out on that. Don't want to give any free kills to those uh, marauders on the other side of the force fields. <laughs> yeah, and what's what's interesting to note here is every time TLO stims, I mean, he's 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 obviously losing the health. Doesn't have any medevacs on the field, so gonna switch the starport over to that reactor. Finally, getting those medevacs out on the field, and those are gonna be extremely instrumental in how this game goes because, you know, Marines and Marauders in the red, they're good, but die really fast, and you can't you can't stim as much, obviously. And TLO trying to wall off, not gonna get there in time. Desert's charging forward with a bunch of zealots and sentries. He could, in fact, break TLO here. He is up 59 to 28 supply. TLO trying to kite as desperately as yeah. he can. Two medevacs oh, not even close to halfway done yet. And it looks like Desro is in a really good situation. But I don't want to say anything too early on that. Yeah, I was actually really bummed by that because he just didn't quite have enough time. So he shut off two of his production facilities. And in a situation like that, that is so crucial. Starport going down. There's the Jeez. TG from TLO. Desro. Man, he has got that game three on lock. It's now 2-1 Desro. One more win, and uh, TLO will be uh, checking out early here, man. Desro has won dose in a row. Yeah? Yeah, that's dose in a row. And that's Dostro, Spanish Des for Desro two in a row. It's like his name. It is like his name. I refuse to go along with that joke. Just God. not doing it. I'm not doing it, man. I love you, buddy, but, but I I'm can't bad. do it. That one was good. I'm not Let's gonna be honest. I'm going to run a commercial real quick. It's fine. Because that's how I feel. That, I'll, get, I'll split was... the money with you. I want your money. You do want my money. I want you to laugh at my jokes. I'm never going to laugh at your joke. <sighs> Makes me sad. Was a nice little all in there. I think it'll yeah, alert me. I mean, it doesn't say commercials are running. Like, I, I want to I wanna make sure everybody gets to hear it. Even the nice people that don't run Adblock. Or are from foreign countries. But, um, <laughs> you know, um, oh, there we it's go. a hard, it's, it's a good build. Like, again, it's it a is. really good build. The, the six gate all in, uh, or the five gate. Yeah. Uh, whatever six gate's it is. It's like the two base. And the thing is, TLO knew it was coming. Um, what he, he needed did. there a lot earlier, he needed Medivax. Um, yeah. I think that, that was the key because he just kept stimming and he just kept getting lower and lower and lower and lower and lower and lower and lower. Um, uh, it's just me. You can go to. I'm getting some 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 uh, words in Skype. He has EU account. All right. Uh, yeah. It looks like we might be. Uh, okay. We're gonna switch it over to EU. And yep. Then, and that'll be it for you. Oh. Yeah, for me. They're gonna get mad at me now. I won't That's okay. I'll uh, I'll just read the chat and troll you. Alrighty. And yeah, I'll uh, I'm gonna do a quick switch over to EU then. All right, have fun. Hey man, you can stay for the for the until I get into EU. Okay, Good I guess stuff. I guess I'll do that. I feel a little sad though. You should feel a little sad, man. I'm gonna miss you. Everybody in the chat's gonna miss you. I think I they're saying that, that right now. Just switching over to EU real quick. Don't worry, guys. Yeah, man. but I don't want to. I don't want to affect the game. You know, I mean. Obviously, you never want that to happen. Yeah, yeah, it's a bummer. But it's the vehicle of esports, man. But at least there'll be stuff. See? Look, that guy was saying, Zenekid said I already miss him. Aw, that's really you. sweet. Oh, hey, there's Rhett. What's up, Rhett? <laughs> um, let me get him added over here. This feature lets you form friendships. Awesome. There we go. Okay. All right. So um, now I gotta remove and re-add the game. There we go. There we go. We're all set up. Uh, show mouse. All right. 
sad music star now. See? They love you, buddy. <laughs> they love you. <laughs> it's hilarious. Ah, <laughs> oh, that's exactly how I feel though, but whatever. You should you should feel pretty sad, it's a pretty great thing. Yeah, but like the thing is right. if I can't even cast on my laptop without streaming, it's over for me forever. It's true. Good to go play a sport or something. Yeah, we're on Antigua Shipyard for this one, man. You're gonna miss a good one. TLO's gonna be sieging all over the place. Yeah. Killing babies. Alright. Alright, man. GLHF. Yeah, man. Yeah. Stay in the chat. Feel free to call me a scrubby nub that can't cast for crap, but uh, I'm sure to get it done. I'll, I'll do right. you proud, buddy. Sorry you couldn't stay in on it. No worries, man. See ya.